And you know, mm-hmm. y'all know how we be going. Yeah, that's right. So this is something I wanted to talk about because I mentioned it. Okay. The passport rules. Mm-hmm. So basically, this is something that's been trending on Twitter and on, I'm sorry, not Twitter, TikTok and YouTube. These guys who I feel like are socially awkward or weird or have some type of like unattractive physical quality about themselves, they can't get women in the States. So they basically 90 day fiance and go to all of these other countries and, you know, sleep with the women there. And they get online and they say that, oh, these women are raised to be wives. They're so much better than American women because they're raised to be wives. And really, this one guy here, the real King Brujo, was in Brazil and he did a lot of videos talking about how, you know, Brazilian women are so much better versus um African American women or American women, period, because American women aren't raised to be wives. <laughs> and um, apparently his videos caught a lot of traction. And then what ended up happening was um they called sex tourism on him. Oh yeah, and basically did an article saying watch out for this man. So I'm gonna play the TikTok video. Um you know, just a little bit of it because it's kind of long and I don't want to play the whole thing. But I do want us to have like just a little bit of understanding for what's going on here, girl. Um, and, you know, shout out to TikTok because, oh, girl. I mean, OK. How this is going on is because a lot of people in Brazil are misinterpreting uh, the things that I'm saying in English and they don't really know English that well. And they they're misinterpreting a lot of things because. I don't say anything negative about Brazilians, so it's that's why it's so shocking to me to have this going on. First, this is very heartbreaking to me. The fact that uh, it was always my dream to live in Brazil, and my YouTube channel was centered around me showing other men, not just the women, but just if you if you guys understand English and you watch my videos, you see me talk about how I enjoy just. First of all, we can start with just the drinks. I mean how well the drinks are in Brazil. I love the drinks in Brazil over any other country I've been to, even my home country. The food is a lot more healthy. I have a lot more energy. My skin glows a lot better in Brazil. Everything about me is better in Brazil. But I'm, I'm very heartbroken knowing that because this whole situation is going on that even, let's say, for example, I'm not banned to come in Brazil. Since my name has been slandered around and uh, misinformed to the majority of the people of what seems like the majority of Brazil, but a lot of people in Brazil, it's not safe even if I wanted to come back. You know, if I if I wanted to come back to stay in Brazil, it wouldn't be safe. Now it's not safe for you. You snitch like a little bit. Yeah, y'all passport bros, y'all was self snitching on yourself. Yeah, Austin, you were doing it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All y'all was self snitching on yourself. Yeah, that's what y'all was doing. Mm-hmm. You know, blew the spot up, and now you apologizing to Brazilian women. No, 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 no. You need to be apologizing to our queens in America for disrespecting them. Okay, and realize that American women didn't get you canceled, bro. Brazilian women got you canceled. And now you can't even really walk the streets of Brazil and feel safe. American women didn't do that to you, bruh. And I just want to say this because I was a person that y'all seen from the beginning as a man. I seen that my queens in America were being disparaged and being disrespected. And I wasn't going for that. I took a stand and I stayed on the passport bro's head. All right. So. You muted. Thanks, love. Uh, the guy who he was talking about is Austin Hulliman, but it's from Real King Brujo's TikTok. But the guy is Austin Hulliman. I wanted to be clear about that. But if you look up the hashtag for Passport Bros, there are so many videos of the men talking about Passport Bros. But these are the responses from women recently. But like, like this, this one right here was one of the ones I saw. Like, this is the type of stuff they doing on TikTok. Like, making these stupid videos, holding up passports and shit. And exposing themselves as they go overseas to get with other women. Yeah. And impregnate these women and leave. Subscribe. Like, look at this. A woman that's going to feed you your drink 
like it you know what's so funny about this i feel a lot of them go over there to feel whatever they feel like they the king but when they come back they mattress probably on the floor and they probably <laughs> At their mama house, like it's that's the gag for me. I hate it. Yeah, fly your ass out the country, cause thank God ain't no bit here in America dealing with their bullshit. Go ahead and go. Oh my stupid! God, that is so creepy. Um, you know what it remind me of? What? It's like a new wave of all them white men that was going over with the Korean War and getting them Korean ladies. Mm. Mm. It mm. reminds me of that. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of like, honestly, it's like they think they're doing something new, but this is like 90 day fiance. This is what the dudes do. They can't get somebody here. So they go over there and take advantage of women who, you know, whose dollar isn't worth as much. So right. you, like you got money to these people because they're in yeah. such dire straits. But the funny part about it was the fact that they complain about American women being too difficult and requiring too much and wanting money and all of this shit, you know, basically saying that American women are gold diggers. But then you go and trick off on these girls in another country, but it's only because it's cheaper to trick off on them in their country. Essentially, you're doing the same right. thing that is being asked of you by American women, um, which is to pay for shit. You broke. Easier to stun. <laughs> okay. But it was just interesting to me the way this was like popping up all over the place and it was really being forced on my, my timeline. But I I never thought that dudes being ignorant online would end up with them being like <laughs> banned from a whole country <laughs> we love to see it we what? so keep holding on passports up you dummies trying to get clout and gonna get kicked out stupid he was killing me when he started you knew he was full of shit when he was like the drinks are better my skin is right? clearer yes that's not what that was about no. this wasn't about your skin no it wasn't it was about you and that lisp and that speech impediment going over there to trick off on women who will be impressed by you simply because you are American. And that's another thing. Then women be like pressed just because you're American. And I think yeah. a lot of men do that. Like, I mean, people settle, period. But it's a lot of people, and especially black men, that will go and be with women who they complain about. You know what I'm saying? Like you get mad that these women aren't helping you or doing this and doing that but you actually go and seek out women that don't do those things <laughs> it's so weird to me it's weird the guys want what they you know what they don't want to give <laughs> look green card us okay green card <laughs> okay this hurts my heart that they really feel like that those be the ugly people who got teased in school. That's that self hate. Child, it would make me feel bad if they didn't have to step on black women in in you know American women's backs like y'all want us to feel bad because we have more rights than the rest of the like they're they're made to be wise because they don't have a choice like it mm. is the easiest thing to do we have choices we can make our own money so we don't like y'all really want us to go back to this time period where women were forced to be with men because they needed them for financial reasons like <laughs> y'all want us to go back to that so bad that y'all are traveling to another country and spending uh, what ridiculous amounts of money on plane tickets and hotels so you could trick off on somebody that as soon as you come back home so you can make some more money she gonna be fucking pablo from her country okay so you know if you want to play yourself this bad you could do it without adding us to the conversation as african-american women and as american women because it's all you know we're not submissive enough isn't that funny mm -hmm. Like they be on TikTok talking about the black women not submissive. Then the white women and Latino women start saying, nigga, we not doing that shit neither. I don't know why y'all keep trying to come over here to us. Now y'all niggas like, oh, we don't go out the country. Uh -huh. <laughs> Running from accountability. Child. Yeah. A mess. Passport bro say independent black women are masculine and not submissive. Yes. And that's why I was saying, like, it's funny that these themes are constantly perpetuated even throughout all of the reality shows, Reddit and Love. Anything on all. Uh -huh. Anything on own, I feel like, is this whole idea of the the Martin Luther King, Coretta Scott King ideal relationship where the black man is leading you somewhere with a I have a dream speech and you're beautiful and having all of these children while he cheats on you with white women. But it's okay because it's the struggle. And that's what you gotta do to be, you know, this woman on this, you know, like it's it just to me, like that's, that's it, it all circles back around to me. 
So like a lot of times, you know, these representations, we're getting them all over the place of what we're supposed to be as women and it's exhausting. Exhausting. Yeah. Therapy. That's another thing. I'm gonna let y'all go. We were gonna talk about Corinne Stephens and Kwame and all of that. Um, maybe we'll talk about it another time. But I'ma just say this: everything she got going on over there, uh, it's freezing now. And yeah. I mean that because your friends do not have to be able to sit. In say that one more time, buddy. I'm going. Out. You were freezing. Yeah. Oh my bad. Okay. Am I clear now? Uh huh. We. Okay, so we about to end it. But yeah. Corinne Stephens situation with old dude getting pregnant for a guy that is not available to you, a younger guy, then you online crying about it. Like, I'm glad she got a therapist. Everybody needs therapy. Yes. <laughs> that's what that, that's what her, her whole, cause I watched her video earlier and that's what that taught me. Everybody needs therapy. Everybody needs somebody they can talk to about their issues because I think we feel like, Oh, I'll just talk to my friend or oh, I'll just talk to this person. But essentially Sometimes you have to talk about things over and over again, and your friends and your family members do not need to go on this emotional roller coaster with you. So you need to get you a therapist so you can hit that person up and talk to them and get clear on what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, because yeah, like I think Karen is like one of those extremely smart people, but extremely, you know, fucked up for, for lack of a better term, you know, they give you highs and mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all get that therapy. Um, with that being said, we appreciate everybody for coming through for the old ladies first panel tonight. Thank y'all so much. We enjoyed y'all. Make sure y'all follow all of us at Bondi Blue at Jamie. That's me at Nisi Dixon. Follow us on Twitter, Ooh Ladies First. If you would like to interview with us or send us some tea, email us at Ooh Ladies First Panel at gmail.com. And make sure y'all share this video with y'all people. Follow all of us on our respective YouTube channels so you can know when the next Ooh Ladies First panel is happening, which it will be on our girl Jamie's channel. So y'all make sure y'all do that. And um, yeah, we appreciate y'all like the video on your way out